What's going on, cryptocurrency universe? It's the Bitcoin miner here, guys. Well, today is an exciting day because I've got the new AMD Vega here, and I'm gonna get to do an unboxing with it. And Jackie's here hanging out with me, playing with the wires, and she wants to see what's in this box, too. So hang out, guys. Let's see what's in this thing. Okay, I got the knife open. Jackie's here hanging out. I think I can do this left-handed. There we go. Oops. See what's in this bad boy. Oh, did you find an itch, Miss Jackie? What's in this box, Miss Jackie? You want to see what's in the box? It's an R. It's a Vega. Look at this, Jackie. Oh, I'm excited to get to play with this thing. What do you think, Miss Jackie? You want to go hook that bad boy up and see what it can do? Let's go hook it up and see what it can do. That, <laughs> all right guys. First, before we do that, let's take a quick look at the box. I do like the graphics, it's pretty neat. So it's got the new high bandwidth catch in it, the next generation computing units. So let's see if the rumors are true. Let's see if this thing can actually do 50 some mega hashes on ETH or even some crazy 100 mega hashes on ETH is what I've heard. No, Jackie, that's not for you. Sorry, Miss Jackie. No, baby girl. Not for you. Sorry, guys. Gotta protect the cat. <laughs> um, anyway, so we got the high bandwidth memory over here, next generation compute units, and let's open this thing and see what we've got in here. I'm excited. Well, since Jackie decided to lost her curiosity of what was in the box, or at least she figured out it was just another box, she left us alone. So let me slide this out. This is what it looks like. Let me go ahead and pull this guy out. What we've all been waiting for, I think this was rumored to be out in December uh, for Christmas of last year or even in January, but uh, it's really, really late. Let's see if it holds up to expectations or not. Let's see if I can do this live right, while I'm filming. Can I dump the bag? <laughs> no, I don't really want to do that. Here we go. I don't have to pause it. It's coming. Dun, 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 dun. The radon. All right. So, if I was told this should be the 64 version. Yeah. So this is the Vega 64. Uh, I don't think I don't know if the 54s are out yet or not, but uh, couldn't get my hands on one of those. And by the way, I want to send a shout out to my buddy for hooking me up. I appreciate getting this here to me as quick as possible. And this thing takes, wow, a lot of power. It's going to be hard to do a six rig build on this. Uh, and it's already it's got RBG. Okay, cool. That's pretty neat, so you can control the lights, the colors on it. All right, guys, let's uh, get this bad boy in a computer, get it up and running. Oh, it does have a switchable BIOS right there. Nice. Now, I'm gonna see if we can get uh, one of the BIOS editors to see if we can't edit this thing, but we'll try. Well, I'll record it as I go, guys. All right, guys, I've got this thing plugged in, and we're ready to get this RX64 Vega up and running. So all I've got to do is come over here, power's already on, and hit the switch. Pretty cool. Nice. Apparently we can choose between red and blue with these little switches right here. So, I'm not really sure what these lights are for over here. GPU tech. I'll have to try to read up on that a little bit more. I just got this this morning. So, Windows is up and running. We don't have the correct driver, so we know that the Claymore is not going to work. So, let me go ahead and see if we can look for the drivers and Google it real quick. 
right? This is the website you guys want to go to to get your drivers. This is support.amd.com backslash en backslash u or excuse me dash us backslash download. Now, um, you know, for seven hundred dollar graphics card, it's kind of funny they don't put the drivers in the box anymore. And really, who has CD-ROM drives ever so much these days? It's kind of funny they don't put them on flash drives. Aren't flash drives cheap enough? So if anybody's listening, maybe you guys should start putting drivers in flash drives, but maybe it's because they're not out yet. By the time you guys have to ship them to the dock, or, you know, ship them to us, it takes, what, three months to get them to us? I don't know. I'm kind of curious why we don't we have drivers. We have to go download them. But anyways, um, I'm going to go ahead and find these uh, drivers, guys, which is going to be your... You know, we're going to want to select desktop graphics. And... Why is this not working? Okay, we're going to have to refresh it. Okay, so we want to make sure to select the RX Vega series. Make sure it says RX. And then select your operating system, Windows 1064, display results. Okay, apparently they have some sort of agreement deal here. Not really sure what this is all about. But I will read that later, and the one I want to download is this driver right here. So let me go ahead and read this. Okay, basically these drivers aren't protect or perfected yet. Um, I guess it's really an early version of them, and that's the what the whole hoopla was about. You should read before you download. So, all right, go ahead and get all your drivers installed, and let's see if we can get some mining software up and running, and actually see what these guys can do. All right, Radon Vega 64. I guess this is all you've got. It's all I can figure out how to do it. It's 32, 33 mega hashes. And it's settings are at 1025 on memory clock and 1400 on core clock. Um, I played with it here for a good 30 minutes and that's the best I was able to get out of it. It, you know, it even goes much lower down to 25 mega hashes. I can't seem to get it above 33, uh, not even unstable. There is no way to play with the core voltages here. So that's about it. That's all this guy's got so far. Now, unfortunately, guys, I've got to go to work. And I will come back this weekend. I've got all day tomorrow. I am going to be playing with this bad boy and see if I can't do a BIOS mod on it and see if I can't actually extract the BIOS and uh, modify it and upload it because it does have a switchable BIOS. So I am not worried about bricking it at all. So I'm going to try to play with that and see what I can learn. Maybe I can get a little more than 33 mega hashes out of this, but who knows. But really at 33 mega hashes, $700, uh, 300 watts, even if we can get the wattage down, I mean, it's, it's, I don't know what's going on. It must be the drivers. Maybe they can put out better drivers and get this thing up to 38 or something, but I just don't see it getting any higher at this rate. But we'll see, guys. Thanks for watching. Remember, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give me a thumbs down. What can I do? And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing to the channel.